This is October 9th, 2017. We're going to look at something else. They say on October 12th that an asteroid is going to pass close to Earth like 4,200 miles or something like that above it. Really close and you know that was on some other channels. So I just want to reveal some other dreams that I've had and see if they might not correlate. The first dream is February the 10th of 2015 when I lived in Oklahoma. And when I lived in Oklahoma, I had no idea that I was going to be moving out of Oklahoma back to where I grew up, which was Georgia. And this dream took place literally within about five to ten minutes walking distance from where I'm living two years before I even knew I was moving back so here's the dream and I dreamed that I went to Georgia and I was on a road you know and I was in a room with no windows I was there for one hour Keep it in mind that Babylon's judgment is one hour. I was in, in this room for an hour. It began raining. Several people were in the room. I ran into another room with a big window, which interpreta in, interpretation means a big vision is what that would mean. It was a thunderstorm. Then I heard a voice say, this is a microburst. See, a microburst thunderstorm does this. If they have an air burst, this is a microburst. That's what it looks like. I looked up in the sky. I saw tree limbs and debris coming up from the south. The wall of debris was like 2,000 feet tall. I saw whole houses. Uh, whole cars, semi-trucks, trees, you name it. The wall of debris, I just seen it just coming like that. And wasn't no ordinary storm, I can tell you that. So I saw that coming up from the south. Then all of a sudden the winds got way up over 100 miles an hour. The trees where I was, it blew them down like they were just nothing. A real bad storm. And, it, and the storm passed real quick. So when it did, I went out into the parking lot. All I saw was trees down everywhere, power poles snapped and blown down, and live power lines down everywhere. Didn't see any arcing, but there were live power lines down all over everywhere. And the damage from high winds was everywhere. And you know, I looked to the south and still some of the pine trees still standing. The wind, winds were still gusting to 50 and the sun was coming out. And I saw, you know, these trees at a distance still swaying. Still was really windy. And you know, it rapidly died down, you know, and it moved on. The trees had leaves on them. Many of the ones I saw down were oak trees with, that were green. It rained hard when the storm hit. Very damaging winds, but I didn't get a scratch on me. I woke up. That's one dream. That was from here in Georgia. Literally, if I was to step outside of my door and walk to that location, I could be there in less than 10 minutes on foot not driving so you know that's kind of different when i lived in oklahoma december 26 it was a sunny afternoon in a dream the date was december 26 and i looked to the west i seen big like mushroom cauliflower like thunderstorm clouds and then running across the ground this big black cloud 
The only way I know how to describe what it looked like is if you go back to the Dust Bowl days and look at April 14th, which they call was Black Sunday. I watched a video on it, the dust cloud coming in, you know, from the plains. And that's how black this cloud was, except it's coming at me. I mean, it was fast. I mean, it just all of a sudden was, was like that from the time. No ordinary windstorm. And I had another one about this thing. It said there was a tornado warning. And the wind was crazy like that. And I saw the tornado coming. And yeah, I mean, that, that wind was crazy. And you know, that's three dreams there of, I, that I've had of some windstorm that ain't. You know, a regular storm, and then I dreamed a double dream on June 7th, 2014, that was like, said huge gusts of wind, be ready, and you know, I dreamt that connotation twice, and then I think June 7th, 2013, I was in Bartlesville, and there was a school there in my dream that I was looking at is Lincoln School. And when I stood there, all of a sudden, I seen a wind. It was probably 700 to 1,000 mile an hour hit that building. It just disintegrated. I mean, it just went over my head like that. And I dropped, dropped to the ground. And a voice said, tornado, tornado. You know, and it was like that. I didn't ever get hurt. And then I turned around and looked to the east and I just saw whew, everything just whoom, just wipe off like that. I mean, it was no ordinary wind. I mean, and that's like six dreams that I've had. The word asteroid was not mentioned in any of them. Uh, several of these dreams that I had, the word bombing was mentioned and mushroom clouds were mentioned in these dreams. But you know, I've had that many, and they're saying an asteroid, and then the Bible says in Revelation 18, they took up a millstone and throwed it into the sea, and thus with violence, that great city Babylon thrown down in judgment was in one hour. And you know, I keep dreaming about this windstorm that's like, you know, probably the speed a jumbo jet flies and are faster than that. And you know, this black cloud that comes up that looks like Black Sunday, you know, dust storm they had during the Dust Bowl. You know, a cloud that black, except it's coming at me at like 700, you know, the speed of jumbo jet would, would be flying at me. I mean, it's how fast it's coming. So fast that from the time that you see it coming, that you don't even have time to blink your eye before the storm's hitting and everything's blowing away. And that ain't to put fear in anybody. I'm just saying that I've dreamed this and I've dreamed these dreams. And in 210, 2015, I had no idea that I was even going to be moving back to Georgia at that time. It wasn't until the last of 2016 that I moved back and... And I think it's weird that that location, that the setting of that dream where that windstorm wiped everything off, that I can literally walk to it from where I'm sitting now and be there in less than 10 minutes. You know, easy at that. And I just thought I would put that out there, these windstorm dreams. Here's another little something else before I shut it off. Gotta add a little interest to it every now and then. 
Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>